Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm super excited today because I've got a brand new wig for you guys. It's an Amazon wig as well, so it's very affordable. I'm really excited because it's a pink wig and it's a lace front pink wig and it's got a little bit of dark roof scene and it just looks really nice. So I bought this with my own money. It was like nearly 30 UK pounds. So a little bit more expensive than some of the Amazon wigs on the cheaper side. So I'm really hoping it's going to be nice. Now I haven't done anything to the wig. I haven't even opened the wig. I want to do it with you guys. And if you're wondering what wig I'm wearing today, this is Thin Candice from Godiva Secret Wigs in Ginger Brown. It's a gorgeous machine teased wig. No lace front, but very natural. And I love wearing this wig. So let's do this then let's do this this is the wig i'm so excited so this is how it comes now it's from amazon and it came like this it didn't come in a box or any other packaging so it does come as is so i'm going to open it and see what's going on what's going on so ah so this is the in outdoor packaging or the outside packaging it's gonna put that in the bin then I've got my bin, I've got my scissors, I'm prepared today. And this is the wig itself. So it comes in a little bag. Now this wig make is called Charisma. And it's just a pink lace front wig. It's just a pink lace front wig. And, you know, I've got quite a few of these pink wigs, you know, from Amazon. But I haven't got one that I really, really, really like. I mean, I do really like the Crystal by Godiva Secret Wigs, but... I don't know, it's not what I thought it would be, I suppose. So I have ordered, are you ready for this? I'm so excited. I've ordered Raquel Welsh Dare to be Different wig, which is a pink wig from Raquel Welsh. So yeah, that's on its way, ladies. I'm really excited. And gents, if you're watching. But this one looked okay. So it comes with a netting, I've just took that off. So I thought this is worth giving it a go. Even if I don't like it, it's worth giving it a go. It looks okay, you know, on the pictures and the reviews are okay on it. And I thought, yeah, I'll give this one a go. So this is how she comes. Wow, first of all, when I'm picking her up and feeling her, she feels so heavy compared with a high-end wig. You know, not mega heavy, but she does feel heavier. They also have that really strange smell, don't they, these Amazon wigs. I'm just going to shake it up over my bin to see if there's any hair. I don't want anything shedding on my table today. You know, I'll have to do a bit of cutting on this probably, so I don't want any hair coming out. So first of all then, first impressions of this wig, because it is a lace front, there we go. So this is the front of the wig. So you can see you've got your rooting here, or what you may call ombre, but you've got your rooting, and then you've got this gorgeous pink. It's a really nice pink. It's like a dusky pink. It does look like it's one length, and, you know, I have had issues with the other wigs I've had, like, um, you know, when I use the wig, the Fever wig collection. Is it Cara? Yeah, Cara and Courtney, those are the ones, lopsided. And I know it's in fashion and it's stylish, but, you know, for a 46-year-old woman, you know, nearly 47, I want something that's kind of a bit more me or a bit easier for me to get away with. Obviously, I can rock any wig. But I wanted something kind of the same length. And that's why I was drawn to this one on the picture. So it does seem like it's all the same length all the way around. I do like the curl. And I do. I think it is heat friendly, this one. I'm not 100% sure. But I do like the curl on it. And obviously you've got this lace front, which we need to cut. The good thing about the high-end wigs is you don't have to cut the lace front. So I'll put it on with the lace front all on and then I'll put it on after when I've cut it so let's look inside so the cap itself it feels quite nice so there's like a little bit of kind of I'd say I don't think it's mono but it's you know it's kind of like that here where it gives you the scalp effect so clearly that's on the parting to make it look a bit more natural you can see your finger through it so that's quite good that they've done that and you know, you've got this, it's a bit machine teasedy here, I suppose. It obviously doesn't feel anything like a high-end wig, but it feels okay. It's going to give you a bit of body on the top, and it's not breathable, but it does feel quite nice, the back of the wig. Now, I really don't like these. You see these here, 
these are the adapters that kind of you have to they're like hooks like a bra strap hook that you hook in to connect it at the at the back of the neck now i just don't like them you might like them so first thing i'm going to do is get rid of them because i just can't stand them so obviously it's different on the high-end wigs because they're not like this so all i'm going to do is cut it out now there is a little bit of lace attached to that there so i'm just going to cut a little bit of the lace off because i have to so i've just cut it off there okay just cut the first one off and i'm gonna take that other little piece there off as well because i just can't stand that personally i can't see the point of them you may like them in these kind of wigs but i don't okay remember this isn't to get confused with how they are in the high-end wigs this is an amazon wig it's more of a hooky one and I just don't like them because I'm going to sew wig clips in if I like it or wear it with a wig grip band. I don't need it on there. So I'm going to do the same on this other side. Get rid of that. And again, a little bit of the laces just come out there, but I'll sort that out after. And then I'm just cutting this little kind of hooky bit out there. So that's the first thing I'm going to do before I even put the wig on. Now, it also comes with combs. Now, I also don't like these combs. There's three combs in here. So these combs have got to go for me. So you've got these, they're like this, okay? Now, it's different when you're sewing your wig clips. I'll show you when I take off candy, so I've got on my head, the one I sew in, but I know that I'm not gonna be using these and they're more than likely gonna stick in my head. So I'm gonna cut them out. I'm going to cut them out. I may need my other scissors to do this, you know. I'm going to get my other scissors. Oh, no, it's come out. It's come out. I don't need to get up there. So see how I've just took it straight off there? That's how it was. And I've just pulled it off pretty much there. Just loosened it up at the side. And then I'm going to cut it out. So it doesn't damage the wig doing this, by the way. There's nothing wrong. Oh, flicked out at me there. There's nothing wrong with cutting them out. It's not going to cause any damage in the inside of the wig or on the wig itself. So that's one gone. That's how quick they are. That's, that the, that's the back one. Yeah, see a little bit of this stuff that, you know, like the inside of the cap's just come out. Now I'm going to do the front one. And this, these are side ones, these are. I just don't like them. Okay, see this one here as well. I just don't like them. So all I'm doing is... You know, just freeing up the stitching on either side where these combs are. Because I just do not like them. And I'm going to take them out before I even attempt to try the wig on. Because I know they're going to stick in me. And I'm not going to like them. So I'm just kind of freeing it up a little bit. This one's a bit more in, stuck in. Just have to give it a bit of welly. Got little bits flying off the wig. Not the wig itself or the hair. Just the bits that I'm trying to cut out here. These scissors are also very sharp, so they're doing what they need to do. So it's coming out. See, there it's come out. That's where it was, and that's where I'm kind of taking it out. Remember, you may not do this at all. You may feel that you want to. Some of you will, some of you won't. So I just personally do not like these clips in them because they stick in me. It's a personal thing. Is that weird with things like this? Like, you know... I just cut them out straight away because I can't stand them. No messing about. I'm not afraid to get in and cut a wig, you know. This one's not wanting to budge. This side. To close my eyes, I don't want you flicking in my face. So that one's done. That's another one done. It hasn't affected, as you can see, anything there inside of the wig. It's just got rid of that, that one. Okay. So let's do it again here. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? There it is. So I'm going to do the same on this one. We're going to do the same again. Because the thing is, I want to, this wig to be wearable. And I know with these in, I can't wear them. Because they just hurt me and stick in me and annoy me. So I'd rather spend the time just cutting it out. So I'd rather just cut it out, which is what I'm doing. Just have to give it a little bit of time. Okay, little bits of the cap are trying to come out here. So we cut this off as well. See if I can pull it now off. We'll get it looser. Oh, see, this is why you have to be careful when you're doing things because 
it can get a bit dangerous in Lisland. It can get a bit dangerous, so I'm just going to cut it off there. Got rid of it. There we go. Took a bit of cap out there, but it's nothing that will show on the wig, so it's fine. Just underneath there. So I've got out now all the bits that I don't like, so it should go on nicely. I'm just going to give it a little shake over my bin because, you know, I've got little bits coming off it here. Let's give it a little shake. So I know I've got to cut the lace, but let's have a look at it on. So I'm going to undo Candy's first of all. So I'm just going to unclip it and take her off. Now, you know, the clips I'm talking about, that I've sewn in, I'll show you because these are the clips I've just cut out. These are the clips I've just cut. Well, they're not even clips, are they? They're like cones. And these are mine. Much nicer. Much nicer. I'm just going to put my wig over there. Now, I've been wearing that wig all day. So my hair is kind of in need of a sort out as well before I put this wig on. So I'm just going to look how it's growing now. My hair is really growing. Look at this. It's getting into some kind of style. It's amazing how it's just kind of over the last week or so, it seems to have grown a lot. So I'm just going to put my little ponytail in. And then I'm just going to push all the rest of my hair back. I may put a wig grip band on with this, I'll see. So we're going to put it on. Now, the other thing I struggle with is ear tabs. Now, when I'm looking at this wig, there doesn't seem to be any, which is a bonus for me. Because I can't stand ear tabs on these Amazon wigs. They push in me. Because they make it one size fits all. So I do struggle. This looks like it's more of a, you know, a bit of, remember Smithy's wigs where they're more like a swimming cap. It feels a bit more like that. So let's see what's going on with these. So obviously it's going to look ridiculous because the lace is still on. But bear with me, okay? Bear with me. So I'm going to get her on. Pull her up. Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, there's no, there's no um ear tabs is there no there's no ear tabs so i suppose it's getting it in the right position so first of all okay, it's in my face move it out my face this is how it looks like then without the you know before i cut it so it's quite nice to be honest it's quite nice i quite like it you know obviously i know i've got to cut the lace but just to see what it's like First impressions on my head. It'll be much better in a minute when I cut the lace out. But, you know, I actually quite like it. I quite like how there's no ear tabs, which means it's comfortable to wear. And, yeah, it's all one length. It seems to be all one length. Let's have a look together. It looks like it to me. Obviously, I'll do a 360 in a full turn when I've got it the, the front right. But so far, so good. Quite like it. So for the money, not bad at all. So let's get this lace sorted out. So the way you cut a lace front wig is you get your little scissors. Now, these are craft scissors. They're the best ones to use. You just start around the front. So you're not taking off loads. You can take more off. You know, just do it so that it's going to look natural. You know, and it's not going to hurt either. You have to be careful you don't cut them so they've got edges or they stick in you. See how that's like that straight away, see? Okay, so it's just so nice when you get the high-end wigs and you haven't got to mess around doing this. Let me do it the other way. Okay, so I've done one side. I'm just going to start on the other side. So move the hair out of the way and cut, cut, cut. I want to do it right as well. It's starting to go dark here in the UK as well. So I'm losing the light a little bit. But I'm not doing too bad. So that's the amount of lace I've cut off there. That feels very hard as well, that lace. So, but I suppose that's how they do feel. So I'm going to turn it inside out and show you on the cap. So you can see there what I've done. I've cut around. It may still need some off, you know, because... You know, I'm not brilliant at doing these things. It's trial and error. So I'm going to have to see how I go. So I've that one in the middle as well, where I've just joined up the two ends. I just need to take a tiny bit more off there because I made a bit of a mess there. That should be better. So let's try that on then and see what it's like now. So I like the fact that there's no ear tabs. 
that's good for me. I have got a little bit of ear tab lace though, that I need to just cut off because I think that is sticking me. So just cut that off a little bit there. So if there's any kind, can you see there? It's kind of like a little bit. So I've cut it. It's like it's got a sharp edge. I'm just sorting that out because I don't want anything sticking in me. Okay, let's try this then. You're probably thinking, blimey, Liz, get on with it. So let's put it on again. So again, it may need further adjusting, but you never know. I might get away with it now. So first of all, I know it's the central part in wig, so I'm just making sure I get the centre right. And then I pull up. It's like, if you look at the lace, it's quite natural looking. You know, on the head, you can see, you know, it's quite natural looking. I like the way it feels. It does feel nice because it's like a swimming cap. It's not painful to wear. There's no nasty ear tabs. So it feels good. I'm just going to lift it up to my hairline. It's about there. So let me just check in the mirror. Do you know, that's a really nice lace front. I don't know if you can see that well there. That's really well done. I'm impressed with that. That's I'm actually impressed with this wig for the money. So I know that I've got no ear tabs here, but it's fine. As long as I push all my hair in and the fact that it's a rooted wig, you know, and it gets away with it because obviously my own hair is, is darker and the root is darker. So it creates the illusion. Plus the fact that I'm not really going to be taking it off my face. I'm not going to wear it like that, you know. I'm going to be wearing it as it is. It's going to work. Now, first impressions, I'm very impressed with the lace front, the way it looks natural. I would say that this is probably better than the Fever Wig Collection. Courtney Cara, to be honest, I've probably worn them out once they're in the boxies. You know, I could see me wearing this one, which is a good thing because I like wearing the wigs if I've bought the money, I've spent the money, you know. So let's take a minute coaxing it into style. So obviously I don't need to get a brush through because it's a curly style. But I have got to be a bit careful I don't yank it off my head because I haven't sewn any wig clips in. This is going to be gorgeous with wig clips. Gorgeous. I could even sew them in today with you guys. I'm going to see how I feel in a minute. But I'm just running my fingers through the curl and the hair. The hair feels nice. Obviously, it does feel, when I touch the hair, it does feel synthetic. It doesn't feel like hair. But for a, a £30 wig, what do you expect? You know, but it still looks nice, and that's the main thing. And I like the way it does feel. I like it. So, let's do a turn. Not bad, is it? This is from the side. So, it's got a longer piece, I think, at the front there. From the side... And from the back. So I'm excited to see what it looks like at the back. The cap is very nicely fit. It feels nice. I don't feel like I've done it an injustice by cutting out them bra strap things. You know, them hooks. It feels really nice. So let's have a look in the mirror together then. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's just, it does seem to be coming longer at the front. Okay, it might just be how I'm looking at it in the camera though. It does. It, I might cut a tiny bit off it. Let me have a look. Oh yeah. Oh no, I like it. And see, it looks totally different in a mirror. You know, when I'm looking at it in the mirror than when I'm looking at it in camera. Because obviously I'm moving my, you know, you know, my face around a bit different. I like it. It seems to be exactly right when I'm looking in the mirror. So I like it a lot. Very, very impressed. So look at this lace front. I think I've done a good job of cutting that lace front. Obviously, if you wanted to wear it, you know, perhaps in a like this, you could just put it over your ears so you're not going to see, you know, your ear tabs. Not that it matters if you're rocking the wig. Isn't it pretty? I really do like it, you know. I can see me wearing this one. And I'm really glad because, as I said, you know, that's why I've ordered the dare to, dare to be or whatever it is, dare to something, the Raquel Welsh pink one, because I do want to have a pink wig I can wear. And as much as I like the crystal wig, I haven't really spent time coaxing it into style. It's hanging in my face. And this one isn't even really hanging in my face, really. 
Shall we sew some wig clips in? I'll show you how I do it then. Let's do this, okay? So let me grab my little bits and pieces I need. And then she's ready to go then. So what I need is my wig clips. I need my cotton. And I need my magnifying glass. And I need my cap. So this is how I do it. So it just shows you as well, then we're going to get the finished result. So if you don't want to watch me do this, you know, you can switch off now. Thank you for watching. But if you do want to see it through to the end, I'm going to show you how to sew wig clips in. So let's take her off then. So all I feel I need in this is two. Okay, all I feel I need is two just to secure it at the front. So I'm going to put two in here, two in there. So these are the ones I use. I get these in a 50 pack. From Amazon so you can see they're just like these clippy ones they're really good these Amazon ones they aren't expensive the range some of them you may get one that you think mm, I'll try a different one that one's more secure so they're like they range from like 4 99 to like 9.99 on Amazon so I've ordered some more actually I think they were like 5.99 for a pack of 50 so real bargain and when you're sewing these in, you want the little rubber that you can see here face down towards you with the teeth towards you. So you, you sew the teeth in towards you. So I'm going to sew one about there. Okay, so obviously not near the lace front, just below it there. You see that little hole I've created when I cut that wig clip out? Well, that doesn't affect anything. So I'm going to sew it in about there, okay? Now I've already got my cotton ear set up from last time I sewed a wig clip in and this should do one clip fingers crossed because I'm not very good at threading for adding my needle when I'm on camera. So I'm going to, you can see on here you've got three holes. I'm going to ignore the bottom hole and I'm going to sew in the top two. So I'm going to put the, the rubber face down and the teeth towards me and I'm going to put it where I want it and hold it with my thumbs. And I'm going to get my needle and cotton and go down into a little bit of the wig and then come up through the first hole just like this. And I'm going to do that three times to give it a bit of added security. I'm using black cotton because obviously it's got a black root so or a darker root. So darker cotton is best. And then I'm going to, I've done that three times. Then I'm going to go down into a bit of wig and come up through the second hole and repeat that another two times to get that wig clip in. To be honest, the sewing is easy. It's threading the needle I struggle with. So I've done that side. It's as easy as that. So I'm going to cut it off. And then I'm going to set my needle up for the next bit, the other side. So one, two, three. And I've learned how to do this through watching YouTube videos. Because I didn't even know how to sew before I got wigs. Because my mum, bless her soul, you know, she's passed now. But, you know, she used to do all my sewing for me. So I've never sewed anything before. So I'm going to get the two bits that I've just cut off there on the left, right side. The right side. And I'm just going to tie a little knot in it three times there. And I'm going to cut it off. Put that in the bin. I've put the bin there. So that's one side done, okay? So I'm going to get the other side and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go down into a little bit of wig and come up through the first hole and repeat that three times. Two and three. A lot of motorbikes going past today. If you're a twin flame, you'll love that. And then I'm going to go down into the wig and come up through the second hole and do that three times do that again and then that's the first bit done so I'm just going to cut off it there see and then pull that off and then I'm just going to secure that side I haven't got much cotton here to secure it but I wanted to do one without having to thread my needle so obviously I know I've got to thread my needle now but I've just got it not be impatient just teach your patience doing all this with your wigs i need to put my knot in that's one knot but one isn't enough i need to put in three knots it says easier if you pull off more cotton but obviously i didn't have much 
to begin with there so that's done and then I just cut off the excess and it's done so we've got one active wig clip yes see easy peasy so we're going to put the other one in so we're going to put the other one in the other side so the other one is going to go about there so you know where to put it because you've got the part in there so it's either side of the party but first of all I need to thread my cotton this is the bit that's going to take time you know I was sewing wig clips in the other night and I was tired and I'm not kidding you it took me half an hour to thread my needle I, I was so annoyed I was getting angry with it and everything I just couldn't do it and in the end I just asked the angels to help me I don't know why I didn't in the first place and I literally threaded it straight away because I was so annoyed that it, so I've just been trying to thread it for like 30 minutes. Like, what was I doing? What was I doing? So, let me... If we can't thread it, this is a good tip, okay? Get something to hold up a light-up magnifying glass. And put it underneath so you can see what you're doing. And then thread it through. She says... This is the bit that takes some time and I don't want to like edit this bit out because it makes it human. You know, that I can't thread my needle. Come on, come on Liz, what are you doing? Thread this needle baby, let's do this. You can see how quickly I did that one. I've done it I was like, and now it's taking me a while to do it. So I've threaded my needle, so I'm going to get the two, I don't think I've put enough cotton on this, but we'll see. And I'm going to go round one, two, three times, just like that. And then I'm going to cut the bottom off so I don't have lots of cotton in the wig. There we go. So this then should do the other side of the wig. So I'm going to put it where I want it again, about there. And then I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go into down into the wig, a little bit of wig, and then come up through the top hole. Yeah, that felt a bit strange then. I think it's okay though. Do the same again. I'm hoping my cotton isn't going to break. I don't think I've put enough cotton to do the other side, but we'll have a go. Again, a little bit of wig. And um, coming up through the second hole now. This doesn't feel right here. It feels a bit odd. Why is it bulking like that? Might just be our moulding it. Just didn't feel quite right then. And I'm going to come up through one more time. There we go, I've done it. Okay. So I'm going to cut it off about there. I don't know if this is going to allow me to do the other side. I might, I'll just thread my needle again because otherwise I'm going to get in a right mess. So let's tie this bit on. So when you knot it, it just secures it in. It just secures it in or secures it in. And I'm just going to cut that little bit out there. So I just need to do the other side. Yeah, it doesn't feel very safe, that one. Strange. It's the cap that is. It's not my sewing. There's something weird about going on with the cap there. Okay, but it'll be all right, I should think. It'll be fine. So I'm going to thread it again. So I'm going to use a bit more cotton this time so I can set up for the next one as well. I could sew three into this wig, to be fair. You know, to secure it at the bottom as well. But I don't know if I can do that right now. Let me just see if I can use this little bit of cotton. I might as well try, haven't I? Let's try it. Let's sew the other side. Let's hope I can do with this one. And then I haven't got to um, worry about threading my needle yet. So we're going to go down into the wig. A little bit of wig. Feels better this side. I don't know why... It felt strange when I was sewing the other side then. It might, because it's close to the party and it might be that, I don't know. So I'm going down into the bit of the wig. And she says, and then coming up through the, the second hole. I don't sew anything into the bottom hole because if you sew it right, you don't need to. And, you know, you just, it's more time and energy, isn't it, doing that? So... I'm going to cut it there. 
and I'm going to tie it. I might sew a third one in, you know, just to be on the safe side, just while we're here, why not? And then it's done and I haven't got to come back to it as a later date and do it again. So I'm just going to knot it one. God, this is a tiny piece of cotton, this is. When you do it yourself, make sure you don't use a tiny piece of cotton like this. Make sure you've got enough to do it without getting mithered. There we go. So we've got two in. Two in. They seem to be okay. And then I'm going to sew another one. Let me have a look. Just trying to think where's the best place to sew it in. Actually, I don't think I need another one, you know. I don't think I need another one. What I'm going to do, though, before I put it on... I'm going to thread my needle again, just in case. And I do like to thread my needle when I finish, just so I set up for the next time I'm sewing a wig clipping. Because I thank myself when I do. I may not want to thread it right now, but I do thank myself for setting it up again, you know? So you might be really good at threading needles and you might do it really super quick, but I struggle. So... And it is going dark, like it's dusk here now, so it's going dark. Is it dusk or twilight when the sun's going down and it's nearly dark? I get mixed up between them. Just think about twilight as in the film with Edward and Bellerin. I'm going to try it the other side, so let's get this threaded. Oh, I thought I got it then. And, you know, this shows that I am human and I'm not like, you know, it does take me a while to do these things. I can't do it now. I can't do it. Come on, Liz, thread this needle. I need to, I've, bul I've bulled it. Like, you know, when you kind of bulk it up at the end, you're trying to force it through. I've just cut a little bit of that off. It is relaxing though doing this. You might think it's relaxing watching me do this. Is it ever going to happen? Is it ever going to go through? Can you believe it took me half an hour the other night to thread a needle? And I was just sitting here like this. Not in this room, in the other room, but... Oh, it was so annoying. It was really frustrating that I couldn't do it. Okay, I can't do it, so I'm not going to do this all night on here, so I'll do it after. So let's put the wig on and see if that what that looks like with the wig clips in. So I'm going to unclip my wig clips and see how it is with them on. So And obviously you'll see how secure it is, you know, with wig clips. So I need to get it straight because obviously there's no ear tabs, so I'm making sure it's straight in alignment with where I need it to be. And you can see now, you know, before I even lift it up, look how, you know, natural this lace front looks. It looks very, very natural. They've done a good job. These Charisma wigs are quite good anyway. So lift it up to my hairline, it's straight, and then one, two, clip it in, there you go. I don't feel it needs another one. Because this cap as well, like I said, it's a bit like a swimming cap. If I hold it up and show you the back of the cap, Okay, and that's the rooting on the wig there. But it feels, it feels secure. I can't see why they put them other straps on. I suppose they do it for added security because it does feel secure. So I could easily sew another one in and, you know, about there, I could sew another one in there. But I don't feel I need to do that. I think two's enough. Look how secure it is on the front. So I'm happy with that. And it feels better now it's secure. I know it's not going to come off so I can play around with it as well. But I just get my fingers and just use my fingers to separate the hair, you know, and get it how I want it to be. I'm impressed with this wig. Let me know in the comments what you think. So we've sewn wig clips in. We've cut the lace front. We've cut all the bits out of the wig that we don't need. And she's ready to go. I could give her a brush out, but... 
I quite like her being this way. So obviously I'm going to have to have a faff around with this in the mirror and see how it actually looks on. It does look really nice. It does look really natural. This has got to be the most natural looking Amazon wig, if I'm being honest, that I've actually had because of the lace front and even the parting. You could easily pluck this out to make it look more realistic, but looking in the mirror, and on camera, but looking in the mirror, it looks completely natural. So I'm impressed with it. I will definitely be wearing this one out and about. And I'm excited to have another pink wig. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.